the Sun, Ayuchi History. In the beginning, waters covered everything. Someone said, Who will make the land appear? Lok Chu, the crawfish, said, I will make the land appear. He went to the bottom of the water and began to stir up the mud with his tail and hands. He brought the mud to the surface and piled it up. Now the beings who lived at the bottom of the water said, Who is disturbing our land? They kept watch and discovered it was the crawfish. When they approached him, he suddenly turned his tail, stirred the mud, and disappeared. Lok Chu continued carrying the mud and piling it up until at last he held up his hands in the air and the land appeared above the water. The land was soft and someone said, Who will spread out the land and make it dry and hard? Another said, Ayok, the hawk, he should spread out the land and make it hard and dry. Others said, No, no, it's Yati, the buzzard. He has larger wings, and he can spread out the land and make it dry and hard much quicker. Yati understood, and he said yes, he will spread out the land and dry it. He flew above the earth and spread out his long wings over it. But after a while he grew tired of holding out his wings and began to flop them. In this way he caused the hills and valleys because the dirt was still soft as he flapped his wings. Who will make the light? Someone said. It was dark. Yoha, the star, said, I will make the light. And everyone agreed. And the star shone above the earth, but it was light was too dim. Who will make the more light? Someone said. Shopa, the moon, said, I will make more light. And Sir Shopa made more light, but it was still dark and dim. Cho, the son, said, You are my children, and I am your mother. I will make the light, and I will shine for you. The sun went to the east. Suddenly light spread over all the earth. As, as the sun passed over the earth, a drop of blood fell from her to the ground. And from the blood and earth sprang the first people, the children of the sun, the Yuchi.